Hello there, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Blood Rain, a game that I played as a kid, even though I really shouldn't have, and I love it. This game apparently, though, was a total failure, and I don't really see why. I don't know, maybe some people have really high expectations, but I love this game. I love the characters, and I just love how it plays. It's just such a fun game. And I'm going to play through it because I haven't played it for a long time. And I've spent pretty much all of today trying to get this game to work. Because there have been numerous problems. I won't go into them, but I'll go into one of them. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever played it, but there's a problem a lot of people have where voices get cut off pretty much at the end of their sentences. And that is incredibly annoying. But I managed to fix it by going into some config files and whatnot. I'll say, I'll tell you if you're having that problem and you want to fix for it, just just ask me and I'll tell you. It's pretty simple now that I've found out. So, I am going to grab everything set up finally. I'm going to finally play this after so long today. I'm going to play training on hard, and we're just going to get straight into this. We're in Morton, Louisiana, 1933. Let's go then. And what I'm sure you've already noticed is that these women aren't dressed like normal women. And also the fact that uh, this red-haired lady has got two big-ass blades attached to her. This is Rain. I'm pretty sure everything's all good. Yeah, everything's all good. Uh, you won't notice it because YouTube only does 30 FPS, but this usually runs at a brilliant 60. But because this game is kind of old, came out in 2002, uh, I can't run it at 60 FPS because it will make the, the audio kind of... The, the cutscenes run slightly too fast and thus will cut the audio off too early. So I've had to force a kind of V-Sync thing, a V-Sync thing, to get it to run at 30, which makes it then work fine in the cutscenes when they're speaking. So you won't notice it, but I was playing it a little bit, and uh, I'm noticing now that it's at 30. But whatever. So we're playing as Rain. This is Rain. She is a Dampier. Dampier means Let's check half inside. human, half vampire. Locked. And the windows are blocked. Not self. Let's hope they didn't barricade the door from the inside. Don't start talking when going into a cutscene. <laughs> I, I, I'm just feeling a bit strange right now because I've spent all day trying to get this to work and I'm just happy to finally be playing it and I'm a bit tired. Oh, it's blocked from the other side. Boob physics. But there seems to be a weak spot in the wall. Kindly make us a new door, Miss Rain. I'd like to investigate. Would you kindly? So yeah, game from my childhood. I love it. It has a fair bit of creepiness to it sometimes, tear it sort apart, of. Ray. This is our first enemy. She taught me to tear it apart, and I will tear it apart. That's not any normal dude. So, oh, Ew. and that was pretty Good sick. Girl. The boob physics don't make much sense. I'm afraid. They're, they're kind of nice to look at still. Watch though. this. <laughs> And then you got Bloodlust. Bloodlust is basically your, as you'll see, your butt fuck insane mode. Where you will start really tearing shit up, as you can see right there. And as you progress through the game, you'll learn skills, kind of. It's The, the game's more, it's based on combos, stringing of joint combos and all that. Show off. Bloodlust satisfied? Not oh, bad. God. <laughs> Shh. There's one. Use your aura sense to see it in the dark. I know I played this. I just want to play, seriously. <laughs> Easy prey, if you want it. <laughs> He's a big meal. Look how bright his aura is. He has no idea we're here. He's not panicking or hurt. Yet. Yet. This one's yours. Take him down or grab a bite to eat. So strange. I don't like... I, I'm not a big fan of Mince. Mince is this other lady. You kind of mentor person. But yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I'm, I feel kind of high. I'm not high, but I feel it. So that was Aura Vision. You do it like this, and it points you to your goal and will show you the aura of enemies, which kind of connotates to their health. You can slice this guy up, or the way to ah, oh, the way to get your health back as a vampire would, which I can't do now because I killed him, 
Where to now? You basically you suck blood. You, you know. Tell me. That's what a vampire use does. Your aura sense. Or a dampier. Don't know where to go, use the aura to look for a bright glow, and that teaches you to use your aura when you don't know where to go. Yeah. I don't know what I'm Let's saying. Here. Let's go to the church. And that's the extent of the training. You don't really you don't really need to know much. I'll I'll explain as we go. Let's save over that. And we go. The game's relatively long. Really. You can get through it pretty fast though. If you know where you're going, obviously. I've seen this cutscene so many times today. Damn bloodsuckers. Careful with your relatives. They should have more sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. Sort of sticking a finger in my eye doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society. So everything must go according to plan. What do we know so far? Fine. <laughs> Newspapers claim the people of Morton, Louisiana are turning into some type of monster. They're calling them mutates. Doctors think a new disease is the cause, so they've quarantined the area. You make me proud. There are numerous known biological masses in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village. Sort of a radical cure, don't you think? You'll be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. Hell of a cold. One of the biological masses was found at the end of this road, in a graveyard behind the church. We'll meet up there. What's that mound by the telephone pole? What is it? It is, was, human. Might be remains from the final stages of the disease, but there's something not quite right about it. Let's check inside. Hmm, seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. Alright, so this is kind of the proper part now. I'm going to have to get used to the 30 FPS, but it's not that bad. Uh, so yeah, um, this is where the game officially starts. Uh, there's mutants in Louisiana, and the Brimstone Society, the people we work for, uh, have requested that we, we fuck their shit up, as one might say. Good thing we're not hypersensitive to holy items like some vampires. You should be all set. I'm going to leaf through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't already uh, guessed, this game's kind of violent and gory. If you don't like gore, don't watch this Let's Play. And if I do decide to Let's Play the second game, definitely do not watch that one, because Blood Rain 2 is uh, <laughs> a hell of a lot more gory than this one. <laughs> definitely. So yeah, we get guns as well. And it's kind of separated into lightest guns, heaviest guns, specials, and explosives, kind of. And the way to get health, as I was going to say, is by slurping blood. And you can shoot whilst you're still here, and you can like turn them around to use them as a kind of human shield. Which is pretty cool. Although they're not really human anymore. And uh, you'll kind of other jump your... that thing, if you can do it right, you can knock over enemies with it. But... You don't really want to do it whilst you're getting shot at on all angles. And I will be doing this an awful lot, because I don't know if I've played this on hard before. 
but from the little I have played of hard, it's pretty, uh, pretty tough. Although I've not really played past this point, so I don't know how tough it's going to be later on in the game. No, definitely not. So yeah, as you can see, we have a fair bit of guns now. We got. Um, I've not set my freaking mouse wheel. God damn it. But uh, I, I ain't restarting now. I'm just gonna freaking quickly do this. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So we have lightest guns, heaviest guns, special, and the little thing between heaviest and special will be grenades and whatnot. So. Just grab any more guns. I can hear them shooting out there. Where are you? And also, uh, for any fans of anime and other games, uh, you may notice that Rain is voiced by the one and only Laura Bailey. I freaking love her, and that just adds to my love of this character even more. That wall stretches across the whole town, 30 feet high. I can see that. So? From what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. Feared what? What's this? After our dark year, in 1873, the first stone of this great wall of fortitude was laid. With this plaque mounted in the year 1888 of our Lord, construction is complete. May this wall of fortitude, with the grace of God, shield us from evil and keep us safe, now and forever. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in those books. You should take out those biomasses. The first one's in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later. Alright, so we've got our objective. She runs pretty damn fast, as do we. Sort of. And, uh... So yeah, infection in Louisiana. We're sent here to contain it, pretty much. And these biomasses are apparently carriers of the disease. So we have to go and fuck them up as well. Get a bit of health from this guy. It cannot taste good. Seriously, I mean, this is like mutated blood. That cannot taste good. I'm surprised she doesn't mention that. So yeah, I can jump super high, and I freaking love this game. And I'm so happy to play it again, now that it finally works. Good save. Investigate the biomass. So, let's head on. And yes, these mutants can use guns, as you've seen. Don't go shooting your rifle off. Even though that's a shotgun, never. I don't see much point in using guns against these guys, really. Apart from these guys that also have guns, actually. Sort of. Uh, where are the guys with guns are? Where are they shooting from? Because the guys with guns are the main threat. Oh, slapped. Ha! <laughs> His face. Oh god. <laughs> you blew yourself up, mate. Aw, oh, you killed the other guys. So his guns aren't particularly useful at this point, I don't think. Later on in the game, the? they get a bit more. Is that the biomass? That's the biomass. If you don't like spiders or insects, look away. Because this is biomass. Sadly, the combat gets a bit loud and you can't actually hear what she says. Which is sad, because I quite like some of the things she says. And I now have my blood rage, or I prefer to call it bloodlust. Uh, it's the little thingy above the eye, on the, on the little thingy on the right. You gain that by killing things and whatnot, as you imagine. And this is this whole pretty this whole chapter pretty much just gets you used to the game. The real proper stuff doesn't really start until the, chap the second chapter in Argentina. 
So let's just enjoy the massive roar. This big vagina is our target. The biomass. Come on, don't tell me that doesn't look like it. And we shall now do our blood rage and destroy it. Pretty much hack and slash. And it's dead. And you can turn off uh, bloodlust whenever you want to save it up. Well done. Strange creatures, aren't they? Strange isn't the first word that comes to mind. What are they? I'm not sure, but it seems they carry a disease that causes mutations in humans. The mutates? Right. And remember those sludge mounds we've been finding everywhere? What about them? Humans. Or what's left of them. The spider creatures regurgitate what they eat. The strange doesn't even begin to cover it. No. No. Somebody there? Open up. What, the Morais wreck gone? Is what gone? The Morais wreck. Swamp monster. That's what the Creole call the creatures. Are they gone? Yes, now open the door. Mon dieu, le diable! Nice welcome for the rescue team. Who are you? I'm Jean Sigmund. I'm the grave digger. What happened here? I don't know. I hid in here when those, when those things came. They, they can't get in without them holes. Jean, you stay put. This place is obviously safe. We'll bring other survivors here. We not leaving? Hmm? Not yet. You'll be safe here for a while longer. Okay, okay. Send them here to farm me to main mausoleum and we will. If you find anyone that is healthy and alive, send them here. But don't forget about the nests. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. Maybe. Or maybe this time around things got worse. These creatures are very insect-like. Seems every 30 years they swarm. I almost forgot. I have something for you. Best item ever. Be using that a lot. It's essentially a harpoon. It helps with feeding and has a decent range. Thanks. I'll protect the mausoleum. You go find those nests. I sketched out a map of approximate locations. The reports weren't exact, so you'll have to search the area thoroughly. Once you're back, we'll head over that wall. There must be some type of source where all these creatures come from. So yeah. We yeah. have a map. Use your aura vision. Yes, it yes, yes, I know. And let's use the hapu to yank dudes from distances and slurp them all up. It's really good. Of course, you don't really want to do that when there's other guys with guns around because you can't move them when, when they're on the ground. And yeah, you will take a lot of bullets. Uh, I have a little bit of time left, so let's keep going a little bit. I don't know, actually, I might still. Oh, look at the froggy. I might start recording a bit longer than 21 minutes. Because ever since I started recording in a different way, I've limited it to 21 minutes, but I don't think that's long enough for me anymore. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, as you, as you play later on, you'll kind of unlock more. Like, you string. You basically just keep hammering left click, and as you go later into the game, you learn more moves that you can string together by left clicking. There is one move that I really love because it's so effective at just dismembering people. And that's pretty much what you want to do. 
Yeah, this guy's red. He still went down. Oh, those like tentacle things he's got. Look at him. The front of him. They're like little suckers. Alright. Well, I'm just about out of time on this one. I think I'll start putting it up to around about like 27 minutes or something. I don't feel that 21 is long enough. So, thanks for watching, and this has been Let's Play Blood Rain, and I'm looking forward to playing this again. Hopefully, you'll be looking forward to watching me play it. Or, yeah, watch me play it, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, and good night.